Hi everyone, my name is Barul. Welcome to my channel. In today's session, we'll learn about subject and predicate. These are two important parts which are required to complete a sentence. So let's understand the subject first. What is a subject? A subject is usually number one, a person, place, thing or an idea that is performing an action or in simple words you can say that a subject is the doer of an action or the one who performs an action who does an action so here on the board we have some sentences through which you can get to understand the subject in a better way so let's go through them one by one first one is Nick sleeps at 7 p.m. so in this sentence who is the doer? The main action, who is doing the main action? The main action is sleep. Action means the main verb, okay? So, the action is sleep, okay? Now, who is doing this action? Who sleeps at 7 p.m.? Nick. So, Nick is a subject here, okay? Nick sleeps at 7 p.m. Now, in second sentence, Jason worked. So the main verb is work. Okay. And who worked? Who is a doer? Jason. So Jason is a subject here. Now let's move on to the third sentence. The bartender prepared a drink. So who prepared a drink? Bartender. So bartender is a doer. Bartender is doing an action. So the bartender is the subject in this sentence. Next is Max received an award. So who received an award? Max. So Max is a subject. She went to the market. So here the main verb, the main action is go. Okay. So second form of go is went. Okay. So this is the verb and action. And who went? She. So she is the subject. They are looking at me. So, they are looking at me, they are doing an action, so they is the subject. We celebrated her birthday. Who celebrated her birthday? We. So, we is the subject. Just remember one thing that a sentence generally starts with a subject. Now, through these sentences, we have understood that a doer is the subject. The doer of an action is a subject. But there are sentences where we do not have a main verb. That means there is no action in the sentence. So in that case, what do you think? What would be the subject? So the subject would be the one, what or who we are talking about. So let's understand that also through some examples. Now here we have some more examples of the sentences where we do not have a main verb. So let's go through them. First one is an airplane is a flying machine. So in this sentence, however, there is no action happening. But what are we talking about? An airplane. Okay. So an airplane is the subject of the sentence. Okay. An airplane. So as we already have discussed, so anything when there is not a main verb in a sentence, then anything what we are talking about is the subject. Now let's see the second sentence. Face creams are very expensive. So what is expensive? Face creams. So we are talking about face creams. So face creams is the subject. Now next is the babies are cute. Who is cute? The babies. So, the babies is the subject. Television serials are not good. So, television serials is the subject. She is not kind. This is a negative sentence. So, who is not kind? She. So, she is the subject. Children are tired. Children is the subject. Now let's look at this particular sentence. This can be a little confusing. Try to understand it. It is a hot day. Now you can say that, you know, day, they are talking about the day. So day can be the subject. No, here it 
is referring to the day. So after reading this sentence, it is understood that it is the subject. So here it is the subject. Now I will give you some more examples like this sentence so that you are not going to have any kind of confusion. Uh, so here we have some more examples. Let's go through them one by one. So first sentence is it is raining. So raining is the action, the main verb in this sentence and it refers to the rain. So it is the subject. Next is this is a beautiful house. Now if you look at these two sentences, they are similar but the subject is different. Here, this is a beautiful house. Second, this house is beautiful. So now in first one, house is not a subject. Okay, This is the subject because this refers to the house. So this is a subject. Now in second sentence, this house is beautiful. So what is beautiful? This house. So this house is a subject. Next is that place is nice. That is a nice place. So in this sentence simple that place is nice. So we are talking about that place. So that place is the subject. Now in this sentence again that is a nice place. So place is not a subject but that is a subject because that refers to the place. That is a nice place. So this is the subject. Generally, we start a sentence with a subject, okay, generally, not always. So don't think that when you read a sentence that, you know, the start this word because the sentence is starting with this word, so this is a subject. No, don't do that. Read the whole sentence, understand it and then you have to find out the subject. I have told you two things about a subject. First, the doer of an action, the one who performs an action. That is a subject and if there is uh, no main verb in the sentence, then the one what you are talking about is the subject. So keep these two things in your mind and trust me, you are never going to have any confusion. We have understood about the subject. Now let's move on to the second important part of the sentence. Predicate. What is a predicate? A sentence is divided into two parts. First part is subject. And the second part which tells about the subject is called a predicate. This is, let's find out the predicate. First one, she has a good memory. So to find a predicate, first we have to find the subject. So here in this sentence, the subject, she has a good memory. So subject is she, because we are talking about she, she has a good memory. So she is the subject and Apart from a subject, everything in a sentence which is telling about the subject is a predicate. So, has a good memory, it's all predicate. Now, let's move on to the next sentence. A bus passed our house. So, the subject is a bus and predicate is passed our house. Now, next is the earth revolves around the sun. So what revolves around the sun? Who is the doer in this sentence? The earth. Okay. So the earth is the subject and revolves around the sun is predicate. Okay. Next is she watched a movie. Subject is she and the predicate is watched a movie. Next is they are playing in the garden. So who is playing in the garden? They. So they is the subject and are playing in the garden is the predicate. My father cleans his car every Saturday. So who cleans the car? My father. So he is a doer. So my father is the subject, cleans his car every day is predicate okay this is one more important thing about the subject as you can see here the sentences which are orders commands or suggestions like walk to the corner and turn right come here do not come back without it complete your work these are all commands or suggestions so if i ask you that in these kind of sentences what do you think what would be a subject then what would be your answer 
so the subject is hidden that is you for example if i have to ask someone to do something for me for for example close the door or sit down so i'm not going to say it like you close the door or you sit down so that is understood okay that's why in these kind of sentences the subject is hidden which is you and these all are predicates for examples let's practice some more let's find subject and predicate in these sentences okay so first sentence is these people are working in a company so who are working in a company these people so these people is the subject and are working in a company is a predicate because are working in a company this is giving information about these people okay so whatever is giving information about the subject is a predicate let's move on to the next sentence my son's dream profession is to be a teacher so we do not have a main verb in the sentence but here we are talking about my son's dream profession so what we are talking about is the subject so here my son's dream profession is the subject and is to be a teacher is the predicate okay now they do whatever they decide they do whatever they decide so who does they so they is the subject and do whatever they decide is a predicate okay now look at the next sentence this can be a bit confusing on the top of the mountain lives a lion okay now i told you that generally a sentence starts with a subject but a subject can also come in the end of the sentence sometimes okay so now in this sentence on the top of the mountain lives a lion so don't think that you know the sentence is starting with on the top so a subject must be out of this only no understand the whole sentence so here on the top of the mountain lives a lion so the main action is live okay so who lives on the top of the mountain a lion so lion is a doer so the subject in this sentence is a lion and what is giving information about lion this sentence on the top of the mountain lives so this is a predicate next sentence across the path lay a tree trunk okay so what is lying across the path a tree trunk so here we are talking about a tree trunk so again in this sentence the subject is coming in the end and across the path lay is the predicate now my younger brother serves in the army so who serves in the army my younger brother so my younger brother is the subject and serves in the army predicate now the last one close the window i told you that whenever there are instructions command orders so in those kind of sentences the subject is hidden which is you always okay so in this sentence also since it's a command so close the window is the predicate and the subject is you okay you is the subject and close the window this is a predicate thank you for watching my videos if you find them helpful please like and share with your friends feel free to leave comments do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive a notification for the new videos thank you take care and have a great day